You know, trying new things can be very scary. Especially doing something like going on to YouTube, showing the world who you are, being honest. You know, you always run the risk that people are going to judge you. They're going to say things about you. They're going to troll you. They're going to bully you. You know, you're taking a risk. And when you do it, you know, even if uh, there's no success, there is still a bit of a reward. I mean, it feels good. It feels good to accomplish something little. Even if you don't get paid for it. <sighs> oh, if you can't tell, I'm not in a good mood. Oh. So that's what I did. I took a chance. Right? Like, my, my life fell apart. Pure and simple. My accident was very bad. It screwed up my whole life. Okay, I haven't been able to find work. And the government keeps rejecting my disability claim. Okay, they literally seem to think that I'm going to grow a new arm. Right? They didn't say it in that many words. Their exact words are, if I go for physiotherapy, my arm will recover. Even though I've gone to three separate neurologists, they've tested the nerve, my arm is fucking dead. But apparently, as we all know, thanks to a certain virus that was around and now this new certain virus that's coming around, the government seems to think that they know better or know more about healthcare than doctors. And so as a result, I don't get disability benefits. Now I'm not, I'm not a freeloader. I'm motivated. I mean, it should be more than obvious that I'm motivated. I've tried doing this. I never thought for a second that I'd make any money on YouTube. I mean, like, I am will joke about it, but... This is... I'm do, I, I wanted to do this simply for exposure. You know, show the world, hey, you know, even though I'm disabled, I'm not lazy... And can still do things. Maybe helping me find a job or investing in me just to help me get back on my feet. I mean, it's not, you're not going to go wrong doing that. I don't do meth. I don't take heroin. I don't do any of the crazy street drugs. I mean, even though I been in poverty for over two years now I lived on the street for almost a year in total I mean that was broken up across two separate events but still all that time I never fell into any of the usual traps that homeless people fall into I didn't start drinking I didn't start using drugs I went out every day okay, walking on my busted legs collecting cans and bottles for months just so I could save up enough money to get into the little place that I have now. Then I kept going, collecting bottles, and I saved up a bunch of money, and I bought a really, really crappy laptop. Right. Because I taught myself how to program, you see, and you know, I'm pretty proud of the fact that I learned how to program. Especially since I only have one arm, you know, it was like a part of my, my therapy, my own personal therapy. It's like, I'm not useless, look what I can do. And I was doing some tutoring, and I had a plan to make a video game. Of course, the laptop that I had was not good enough 
for video games, but I could write programs with it, and I could tutor with it, and I could help other people write code with it. And I wasn't really making much money, but something was coming in. Just a little bit. Not enough to live. So anyway, I decided I would use the laptop to edit these videos because, you know, the least I could do is edit these videos if anyone would even watch them. It's like at least, hey, the effort was put in. Yeah, but that laptop fried on me today just after it finished processing my first actual edited video for this stupid not recommended series. I worked for two days on that video. Did filming and I did editing. I even made a thumbnail. Hell, I even put in music and credits and and it was edited. <laughs> it probably wasn't edited very well. I mean, I'm as amateur as amateur can be, but... It's the effort, right? <laughs> it was an effort for nothing. So instead of uploading the video that I was actually proud of, that I put effort into, I give you this piece of crap. And so for today on Not Recommended, the subject is trying new things. Don't bother, especially if you're me. <laughs> I should have died in that accident. I wish I died in that accident. <laughs> no, I won't kill myself. I can't do that. I may not believe in God, but I do believe in the immortal soul. <laughs> Plus, it would be a big disrespect to my parents if I took my own life. But I give up. <laughs> I ask for help and nobody would help me so instead of crying about not getting help I tried to make it on my own over the past three years I've gone through a few different things and every time every time I get somewhere either somebody steals something from me or I lose everything. <laughs> it never fails. I moved into an apartment uh, near the end of 2019 after being homeless for just a month. <laughs> I started working on a really big project there back when I had a PC. <laughs> I was making my own video game. I got all the way to having a 
playable demo. I released it. I was even starting to get donations on it. And then the building that I was in got condemned. <laughs> Everyone got evicted and I couldn't take my computer with me because I had no place to store it. And I mean, I'm disabled. I couldn't carry my computer around. I couldn't carry anything around. It took me five months collecting cans and bottles in order to save up enough money for a damage deposit because after they condemned the building, they refused to give anyone their damage deposits back. So, you know, if I would have just gotten my damage deposit, I wouldn't have lost my computer. I would have been able to just hop into another apartment and been on my way, but nope. Five months on the street collecting cans just to get a damage deposit get into this place <laughs> collect more cans to buy a computer work on a few different projects have some trouble finding my footing but at least I'm moving forward get a decent idea put it all together and it's gone it was actually a pretty good video I mean like good for me like compared to everything else I know I'm an amateur but it was okay for an amateur attempt. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Actually, I'm not because nobody's watching, so. I'm just wasting my time. But trying new things, not recommended.